Okay, so this is going to be a Blind Let's Play of the Resident Evil 2 Remake. Uh, I'm playing the PlayStation 4 version, if you're wondering. And for those of you who don't know, I have played and completed every main Resident Evil. So I am pretty familiar with the series. I'm not a diehard fan to the point where I know every single in, uh, every single detail about the lore and the story. But I'm decently familiar with the series. I play them, I enjoy them. Uh, I'm not a diehard fan to the point where I know I remember every last detail, but... Uh, I like to think I'm familiar enough with them. Uh, let's just go into it and... I do wish that they would give you the... Because I one thing I wouldn't mind playing on my first playthrough is like the old games where you can only save at the typewriters and you have to... Yeah. Well, I think you do that anyway, but... I, I mean, you have to reload your save every time you die. Uh, I wish that was just an option for any difficulty, but it seems as if it's only restricted to hard mode. Uh, which is a shame. Uh, I'm definitely not going to do hardcore for the, my first playthrough. I know that uh, the RE7 hardcore difficulty was pretty, uh, pretty tough. I, I remember I complained that about RE7. I wish they give you the option to play like the old games on the standard difficulty as well. I wish that was just like a toggle option. That's a really gross looking hamburger. I've tried to avoid spoilers as much as possible, although I don't think there's really much to spoil with this game. It doesn't sound like they've... there's any surprises. As far as uh, a remake goes, it seems like it's pretty straightforward, pretty standard stuff. I haven't. Uh, I, f I feel like if there was a big surprise in this game, I would have heard about it. I mean, if there was a Nemesis cameo or something like that, I feel like I would have heard about it by now. I've tried to avoid spoilers whenever possible, but if there was something big like that, really significant, I would have heard about it. I feel. Come on, just getting good. During the first reveal trailer for this game, I thought Leon looks a bit off to me. Uh, but he's grown on me as time has gone by. When I watched the, a gameplay demo, it started to grow on me. Doesn't bother me anymore, but I gotta say, Claire Redfield looks uh, pretty bad. She hasn't grown on me since the reveal trailer. I, I think she just looks awful. And I doubt she'll grow on me during the course of the game. What's that gameplay? Yep, all right. No weapon yet, I assume. Okay.
Hello? Anybody there? Good ice cream. Something's not right. You all right? Don't move. I'll be back for you. Stop moving. Officer, you need help? Stay back, sir. I got this. Gonna shoot them. Freeze! No, I have to do it. I'll okay. shoot. What the? Yeah, I, I think I, I've heard that there's something weird about the headshots in this game. I've seen <laughs> or heard a lot of people complain about that, but I'm not sure if there's a misunderstanding going on. I've seen people arguing. I've seen short clips of people shooting a zombie in the head about 10 times in a row and the zombie keeps coming and even if you're on the hardest difficulty I think that's a bit much. But I've also heard that if you, I've seen people arguing, debating that apparently you have to aim at the heads and the reticle will shrink and once it's shrunk as far as it can go then you fire and that's supposed to inflict max damage on the zombie. No way. I'm gonna run. This can't be. Oh. What the? But I'm not sure if that's true or not, where you have to aim at the heads until the reticle shrinks to inflict max damage. I think people are arguing about it, whether or not it's true. Don't shoot! Get down! You alright? Yeah, I think so. Thanks. You can thank me later, when we're safe. Holy shit. They really messed up Claire's face. That's awful. have some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah, Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. Live around here? No. I'm looking for my brother. He's a cop too. Well, it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. Home of Umbrella. What level of influence does Umbrella have to the point where they would bother putting the name onto the sign of a city? I get they're supposed to be this big, powerful, spooky organization, but still, I don't know. My initial reaction to this game was pretty negative as well when I first saw the E3 trailer at Sony's uh, conference because when they first announced this game they went silent on it for so long we had no info about it all we knew was that it was happening but they didn't say if it, if it was going to be like uh, fixed camera angles and pre-rendered backgrounds or if it was going to be third person over the shoulder and w when uh, I found out in the initial reveal trailer that it was over the shoulder I was pretty pissed off but 
I, I warmed up to it. When I saw the gameplay demo, I started to warm up to it. I was like, you know what, actually, this could work just fine. Due to the citywide outbreak, you were advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. Free food and medical supplies will be provided to everyone in need. Oh my god, this is so unreal. The police station's not much farther. They'll know something. Yeah, but... What if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. Looks like we're walking from here. I goes without saying I will be playing through the campaign as well. Claire, are you okay? Standing still causes the reticle to shrink. I don't want to waste the ammo to test it out right now, but... Hmm. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Maybe it does inflict max damage when the reticle shrinks, but that just means you have to stand still to do it. And maybe it's not really about aiming at their head for a certain amount of time. Shit. I don't know, I've seen people argue about how to inflict max damage on zombies. No one can seem to agree on anything. I have no idea if he turns into a boss in this one. I, he does in Dark Side Chronicles, but I, I haven't had that spoiled for me. The it, whether or not he mutates into some kind of boss fight. In the original game, of course you don't. He just... I think uh, William kills him? I don't remember. Or maybe Mr. X? I don't know. Uh, Resident Evil 2, I know it's a childhood game for a lot of people, but I didn't play until I was much older, so... I don't know that game in and out like most people do. Most people play the original game a million times over and over when they were kids, so they know it like the back of their hands. Uh, I only played it when I was older, so it's not really that engraved into my memory like a lot of other uh, people. And. I'm guessing clear maybe comes in through the back of the station. I, I feel like I may have heard that somewhere. In the original game, you could come down from under there. 
Maybe we still can. Maybe we go under there later. Ah, right, here we are. So okay. I know, obviously, Is they're going to try and subvert your expect expectations. Some of the scares will be based off the knowledge you have of the original game. Uh, much like the first remake, no doubt, but... I may, some of them might just go over my head, because like I said, I don't remember the second game that well. There has to be someone here. Not good. David, Marvin, you there? I found a way out, it's in here. Send reinforcements! East hallway! I gotta find that guy. Okay. Squid reload, okay. Like right there. Uh, we don't need ink ribbons. I'm pretty sure you do in hardcore mode, but it doesn't seem to be actually I probably should no nah, I'll find a save. I mean there's checkpoints anyway, but I'm not sure if Mr. X appears on I have no idea which campaign Mr. X appears on. Or maybe on both, I'm not sure. And I tried to avoid spoilers whenever possible. But I, I am aware of the gameplay demo that they showed at E3. You crawl through there, get the knife. Oh no, you crawl through there, come back, Marvin appears, gives you the knife. You cut this open and go through there. It's not something I watched over and over either. I, I only skimmed it, but... I only watched it once, and I skimmed through it. But I do remember. I remember it uh, well enough. Huh, so we don't have a ladder here anymore. Combination? Yeah. Oh, okay, we can go straight up here. I'm guessing the doors are locked though. Yeah. So there, there is something about this game which I am I'm pretty pissed off about that I've heard is a lot of other people will try and argue that it's not a big deal, get over it, but uh, it really bothers me. Uh, they've cut quite, well, they've cut a few enemies. I'm aware of that. Uh, they've, I know they've cut the giant spiders and I'm really pissed off about that. Uh, they've cut the crows. Uh, I know they cut the giant moth. Which is kind of, I think that was an optional boss in the original game, but it, uh, it, it does annoy me a lot. A museum, yeah. I like how they bothered giving an excuse why there's a lot of video gamey things, like all these puzzles dotted around the station. It's like, oh, it's a museum. Okay, sure. Oh, it was one. Safe? Okay. But uh, yeah, they've, they've cut quite a few enemies. I'm mostly pissed off about the giant spiders, because they always looked so badass in the previous games, especially the remake. Uh, in Zero and the GameCube remake, the giant spiders looked fantastic. I mean, they looked real. They looked so good. And I was really excited to see them in modern graphics on uh, the next on next-gen consoles. But no, they cut the spiders, and I don't really see a way to defend that. A lot of people try and do a cop-out answer, which is unreal. It's not a real excuse, if you ask me. 
But some people try and defend the game and say, well, it's a remake, it doesn't have to be exactly like the original. And yeah, it is a remake, but... I don't feel like you should cut content, you should only add content. And I just, I can't excuse, I, I don't, I don't know, people can have their own opinions, but I'm just really pissed off that they cut the spiders. And sure, they only appeared in two or three rooms in the original, and people try and argue this by saying, well, they weren't that much of a threat, you could easily run past them. Yeah, but all the more reason to bring them back and make them a threat. I mean, a giant spider in real life would be pretty tough to deal with. I mean, the only reason they weren't a threat in the original game is because you had tank controls and they had to nerf what a giant spider would actually respond like. Otherwise, the game would be basically impossible to complete because as soon as you enter the room with a real giant spider, you'd be dead, pretty much. It'd be all over you. It'd be an instant death. So they had to, to nerf giant spiders in the original game to account for your limited moves. So it's like, yeah, the giant spiders weren't a threat in the original game, but that's because of poor game design or because they weren't too sure how to program them. You know what I mean? And it's all the more reason to bring them back in the remake and do them justice and make them an actual threat, like a giant spider would be. I'm just saying that I, I've seen so many bullshit excuses as to people def trying to defend the fact they cut the giant spiders, and I just, I'm, I'm totally against it. And that's a big problem I had with Resident Evil 7, with how they cut the enemies. Oh, but they didn't cut enemies, but there was there's such limited enemy variety in Resident Evil 7, and I was so pissed off about that. To the point where, some people might think I'm being a drama queen, but Resident Evil 7 should not have been released in the state that it was. I mean, all you had was the Baker family and the, the Moldeds. Sure, the Molded had the variations, but it's the same enemy, come on. And it's just, if, if, I don't know, Resident Evil 7 should not have been released in the state that it was in. I, I really believe that. And the one thing they took from Resident Evil 7 was people will still buy our game if we cop out and only have a few enemies. And I think that's one thing which is going to stop this game from even being frightening. I know all it is is just zombies and... I mean, why, why is... Uh, more content, more variety. Why is that a bad thing? I suppose it's more of a budget thing. I, I guess they just didn't have time or the budget or the skill to program giant spiders. I, I know that it would be a difficult enemy to animate. Uh, yeah, for sure. They would be a difficult enemy to animate, so I understand why they would have to get cut if they just didn't have the skill, the time, or the money, the budget to animate them. I get it. But it's a shame. It's a lack of effort, or... Oh, maybe it's not necessarily effort. Like, who's to blame here? Maybe it was Capcom. Maybe it was a budget thing, a time thing. But it's just a shame they got cut, if you ask me. A real big shame. On top of that, crows, and, and I know the crows, they're just a small thing in the game, but still, its it just adds to the variety and the nuance of the game, just having these little enemies appear here and there which aren't in the rest of the game. It just helps the game feel a lot more lively. But now, all we have are liquors, dogs, zombies, and I know they have G-mutants, I have no idea what they look like, but I know in the sewers, there's an enemy that can poison you called G-Mutants. So, uh, I guess they could be cool. And Ivy, yeah. We, we still have Ivy. Although, uh, I'm aware that they downgraded the, the Ivy to reskin zombies. I know the zombies don't spawn until you have to make your way back. I think here? Okay. I'm assuming this event will trigger the zombies. Please! Give me your hand. Help me! I got you. Is that weird deal? Or is Give me your other hand!
Alright, so underneath the statue there's a secret passageway. Goes into the sewers, maybe? And joins to the parking parking lots. Okay. So that's supposed to be the combination below. Okay. And I think I should make my way back quickly. Alright, not bad, not bad, go, go. Did I try that though? Yeah, I think so. Jesus! Alright. They're everywhere! Uh, maybe I should take a hit. Is the wasted ammo worth it? I don't run. Uh, I'll, I'll take the hit. What was that? Did I miss? Oh, the door. Okay. Still need the fuse. And this is where Marvin appears, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. Marvin Brown. Leon Kennedy. There was another officer I, I couldn't. I couldn't. Here. <clears throat> I'm sure you did what you could, Leon. Does anyone know what started this? Not a clue. But honestly, all you need to know is that this place will eat you alive if you aren't careful. Yeah, well, I was supposed to start last week, and I got a call to stay away. I wish I'd come here sooner. You're here now, Leon. That's all that matters. Okay, Lieutenant. I'm ready. Hopefully, you'll be able to find a way out of this station. That officer you met earlier, Elliot. He thought this secret passageway might do the trick. Mm. This is good news. We can get you to a hospital. No, no, I am not the priority here. Lieutenant, I'm not just gonna leave you here. I'm giving you an order, rookie. You save yourself first. I'd come with you, but I'd just slow you down. Now, you'll need this. I can't take it. Stop. Him. And don't make my mistake. If you see one of those things, Uniform or not, you do not hesitate. You take it out, or you run. Got it? Yes, sir. Where's that? Also, oh, okay. So the knives can... They, they actually weigh down, alright. Make some space before I move on. Oh yeah, I don't need this anymore, right? They normally give you the option to discard the key if it has no more use. Or at least it was like that in the previous games. I can't imagine ever... We're not going to go back to the gas station, are we? Is, is that different? Is it different in this game? Can't we discard things when we no longer need them? Okay, how do I look at my health? Fine. Right. 
I am aware there's no liquor in this whole way. I would say I have that spoil for me, but it's not much of a spoiler. This is not how I imagined my first day. You know the remake's gonna try and subvert your expectations based off of what you know from the original game, but at a certain point it becomes predictable that they are gonna try and subvert your expectations, so the fact that there's no liquor in the hallway, I think that's kind of obvious. You don't need to tell me that there's no liquor to, for me to know. I, I think it's, it's, it's something you would assume anyway. No liquor cameo then? No. Hang on. I'm gonna get rid of the herb. I wanna keep this? Yeah. Okay, I'll keep it. That's one thing, you can kind of become savvy and jaded to how uh, a game like this is gonna try and uh, play on your expectations. To the point where it's kind of, you kind of just roll your eyes, you're like, yeah, I know there's not going to be a liquor here, it's pretty obvious. They might spawn one here when I play, come through as clear. I could see them doing that, but yeah, not on your first playthrough. I oh, just the guy with the jaw. This is a great effect. That's a really good door. Huh? What? You can board up windows, I'm aware of that. Head split open? Nice. Close the key. this? There was a gap there? I don't remember. Was there a gap? I don't, I don't remember that. Maybe it only opened up when I was on my way back. I guess that could have been where the zombies came from. Unless there were bodies in the hallway that I don't remember seeing. Because uh, some zombies did come out from over here, I think. The ones that I allowed to hit me. I guess they came from there. I, yeah, I don't remember there being a gap. Okay. So zombies will keep spawning from this location unless I board up the windows. I'm pretty certain that's the deal. Yeah, there was something like that in the original game, I think. I, I don't remember, there may be, you know, this might be unique for the remake, I'm not sure. Okay, we can uh, play Ring Around the Rosie here, I know we can't. We can get through here now. I didn't check. There may be something at the end of this hallway. Okay. I'm guessing that's a one-way thing. Okay, I'm assuming there's no key item at the end of the hallway. Check the dead end first.
Okay, he's looking at me. I think he's about to stop moving. I'm guessing this is locked, since this was locked from this side. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Alright, I'll kill this guy. That end. I don't think I mentioned this yet, but I didn't play the demo either, the one-shot demo that they released. Do we need these keys? Do, we, do I have to find them? Yeah. Shelves. More. I need the key card. One oh nine. Might be able to open that. One oh six. Great. Right. There was something like that in the second game. I don't think it was mandatory, I think it was optional. You could develop uh, Easter eggs for the lore from the photos. Is there only one? Okay, 103, 102. Can't open them. No. Okay. Got the staircase. Yeah, might as well go, go to the dark room now. Get it over with. Should be able to open up my inventory. I'll leave them there. Oh, is this a safe room? Yeah, it was in the original game. Got a typewriter. It was a safe box. Yeah. Okay. Is that the statue. Right here, nice. Oh, okay, so you can create ammo like in the third game. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. It's not my first rodeo. Actually, I think I will board up the window right outside here. I'm assuming it, it means the window is permanently boarded. Hopefully, it won't. It won't be something that eventually degrades. I mean, it's right outside the safe room. I want this to be clear, I guess, so I can get to it easily. I do know this, this game has dynamic difficulty. I think that's what it's called. 
but uh, Resident Evil 4 had that as well, where the game would get tougher if you played really well, and if you played poorly and died a lot, it would get easier. So I can see the amount of headshots a zombie taking to taking to kill a zombie can. Uh, I, I can see that uh, going up and down basically. I'm not so sure if I prefer dynamic difficulty. When I played Resident Evil 4, it all felt pretty nice and fluent, and the difficulty going up and down, it seemed fine. But at the same time, if you're playing, if you're being good at a game, then you're being good at a game. Why, why should the game start to try and uh, just annihilate you just because you're playing so well? I don't know, in Resident Evil 4, it felt fine, so I guess it just it depends how it's implemented, I guess. But I think if it gets to the point where it takes, uh, the game is saying it takes 15 headshots to take down a zombie, that's just complete bullshit and that's just terrible design, if you ask me. Not, uh, you know, I've seen some web, uh, some clips of people shooting a zombie in the head like 15 times and it keeps getting back up. Uh, there's no excuse for that. It, I, I don't care if it's hardcore mode or not or if the dynamic difficulty is going up. That's just bullshit. That should not happen under any circumstances. of our first names. Okay. Two locks, one on each side of your desk. Uh, Leon, Marvin. Uh, what's your first name? Oh, that is Marvin. Uh, So we got Leon, Marvin. I don't know who the other guy is. L M. No M. So Marvin is the last. Oh wait, is he on the other side? He, he could be going in the other side, actually. Yeah. Okay, so Marvin is one hundred percent by here. So Leon would be here. No, it's not. Damn, I'm not getting this right. Do we... Welcome, Leon. Is there a memo about, or... Maybe a, a notice board? Oh, shit. How many are there? I didn't mean to press that one. I kind of panicked there. I, I can see how to solve the puzzle though, and I think it would be... So there's two of them. If I take them one out at least, they'll be manageable. Oh, what the hell? Please fall. There's one on my left. But don't catch up. Please fall. Run, run. I, I do, I understand how to solve the puzzle, I'm just... I understand how to do it, just... I need to take these guys out so I can solve it. If I wasted... Uh, I don't know. I think I'm overly conservative with my resources in survival horror games, so... I tend to over... I, I panic more than I should when I'm wasting ammo. Is he actually dead? I suppose so if he allows me to take the knife back. Right, what we got? We got Marvin, M, R.
I think he's frozen doing this. So D. There's no D on this. So D E. Do another lap. Yeah, on the plus side, if it's dynamic difficulty, you know you can always win the game pretty much. Since if you're completely out of ammo. And you keep dying, I guess the game will just... I, I'm not sure. If you're completely out of ammo, you might be screwed. I guess the game doesn't spawn more ammo for you, but the, the enemies will become weaker, at least. That uh, was it. D-E-M. I already forgot. Uh, D-E-M. D-E-M. L. That would, that would be L, I, I would think. The key to your success is the initials of our first names. I don't understand by the... I mean two locks? What's the deal with the second lock though? So it's alphabetical order from the left to the right, including both locks I assume? Do one more lap, make sure I get this right. So M R There's nothing on this desk. It's this one. Shit. Someone get him back up. So the first letter we have is D, but there's no D on the first uh, slide, on the first slide up, whatever it's called, but there's a D on this one. So if it's in alphabetical order, then I, I don't, there's something I'm missing here, or I'm not understanding something. D in DNA. Well, I feel like I'm not understanding this correctly. The initials of our first names, yeah. 
Oh, it's not alphabetical order, it's the order that, okay, it's the order they are in on the desk. Okay, that explains it. So, M... Uh, what's that? M, R... Yeah, there was something I was not understanding correctly. So, what was this? D, E? Which one? E, D... Okay. Made that a lot tougher than it needed to be. Okay, so it increases the amount of ammo. Very simple puzzle, but uh, I mean, I I just misunderstood it. <coughs> when it said in order, I, I assumed it meant the in the alphabetical order. I could have read it more carefully. It's not too early to use a uh, health item for the average player. I'm sure it's fine. Upstairs. 